Wasn't it brilliant? Who could have imagined it? Republic of Ireland beating Italy, <laughs> joining Northern Ireland, Wales and England in the knockout phases. I know personally, I'm going to remember this week for an awful long time. <laughs> Absolutely cracker. This event's been pretty good as well. Um, this lecture theatre, it's great. We came here to look at the venue uh, uh, several months ago. Mandy a year ago said, oh yeah, we could host it. So we came up, we actually stayed at the Travelodge down by the Albert Dock, a wonderful place around there. We came here a man and Dominic showed us around and we go, oh yes, this is wonderful. And then we went up to the fifth floor and saw the balcony. And it was just, yes, we've got to have this. We've got to have that. We can have the meals there. We can, and we've got the view. I hope you've all went out and took loads of photos of the view. The Maritime Museum, wonderful place. The Phil, the Philharmonic, Hall, the Philharmonic uh, dining rooms and the Revolution, um, the Cuba bar for those informal arrangements uh, last night. That was so good as well. And then there were the talks, the workshops. Mike McConnell and his free form jazz band. That's my favorite session, because they don't know, you know, they're asked those things to respond on the fly and respond to each other. I'm really impressed by that panel session, which is why I always ask Mike to, to lead that. Um, the company, and I think as I have an Irish passport, although it's expired, the crack. We've had a great crack here over the past few days. And you've made this possible. The web community, all of you here, and those of you who left early. It's a community of people with shared interests, might even say shared passions and shared challenges, who are willing to work together, to support each other. We don't really regard each other as competitors. We regard each other as people who have similar challenges. In many cases, we regard each other as friends as well. And as somebody sent me a Twitter DM this morning, just an hour ago, thank you for organizing another fantastic event. I love the friendship, I love the community and the friendship and support it offers. And I think that's very true. And every year we come to the event to learn from each other, to share our successes, but also to talk about the challenges that we face. Paul Boag was right, we do have a moan. Every group, when they get together, has a moan about things. But we're facing particular problems at the moment. Higher education is facing problems. The sector is facing problems. And who knows, things could even get worse after today's uh, election, uh, referendum result. The best we're hoping for is that things were as bad as they were before. Um, but we also sometimes encounter personal problems and challenges as well as the professional challenges. Over the past few years I've heard, over the past few days, I've heard from a number of, of people who've been facing painful restructuring processes and not looking forward to maybe meetings next week and I think in one case meeting tomorrow, difficult meetings. But beyond our work challenges, there are also some of the personal problems and challenges that we faced um, within our community. Earlier this year, some of you uh, may remember Sebastian Ratz, who was a stalwart of this community in the early days, who sadly died of a brain tumour. And Helen Sargon, who's been the most prolific speaker over the 20 years of the event. She's not here this year because she's currently uh, having treatment for her lung cancer, but she did share a blog post just a few days ago in which she encouraged you to contribute to her Just Giving page. And Ian St. John, who some of you may know, he's been here for the past two days. He left first thing this morning. He has to go down to the southwest. Um, also had a sort of a personal tragedy just two years ago. And Duncan, could you, I just asked um, Duncan. Um, Ian, I suffered a, a fairly tragic loss. He lost a young son um, and he's taken a, a lot of joy and a lot of comfort from the support he's had from this community. Uh, he, he's very sorry to have had to leave early. He would have liked to have been here, but uh, I believe he's made available a, an award um, which we're going to draw in the magic Well, well we're, we're going to draw, just, just, draw just, just over generator. here. So, so this is perhaps the, um, 
uh, the, the, the launch of the, um, an IWMW community prize. So there will be a prize of £25 for the lucky recipients. So everybody who's attending the events, the names are on, are on this uh, uh, chooser, and there'll be a £25 will be donated to the charity of, uh, of Ian's uh, choosing. And roll on the drums, and Claire's going to press the big button and come close to me and speak into my chest. <laughs> <laughs> Simon Marshall. Oh, great. Simon was just here for the day from Aberystwyth yesterday because I think he had problems getting here and, and, and the like, but I'll make sure I, I send him that in the post. And if, if somebody can tweet, if you know Simon Marshall's uh, email ad um, uh, Twitter address, that would be great. So, uh, so th thanks for that. Um, and I know that Ian and his wife and his daughter will be very pleased. I suspect they'll be watching the video of this moment. So all the best, Ian, and I hope to see you down in Weymouth for a pint in a few weeks' time. Um, so. so we have a community. We have an event. We have a couple of JISC mail lists. What more do we need? So the advisory group for the event used the Slack channel for having a chat and discussing things and making plans. So it was a kind of informal thing. We tried every Friday from 2 to 3 to get together and to have a chat about the planning for this. But I think it was, uh, it was Kevin Mears who said, shouldn't there be a, a Slack channel for the community that people could just dip in and ask and maybe arrange things and, and, and the like. So that, I think that will be something that we, the advisory group, next week I think it, was, it will be, we'll have a bit of a deep debriefing and say what can we do to build on the community. So the Slack channel is, is one thing. There's also the blog, the IWMW blog. Now I know Mike Nolan, who's there, and myself several years ago, Mike stood up and says, why aren't we blogging more? We're supposed to be talking to our community and be more open and transparent and, and the like. But Mike, I know, team is, is blog, blogging. Um, uh, the, the University of Bath digital team um, blogs. But many other teams, digital teams, aren't really blogging. And it can be, it can be difficult sustaining that. So the thought a uh, number of us were had was the current IWMW.org slash blog which was used for sharing memories of previous events, let's have that as a community blog. So imagine we have 140 people at the events. Just imagine 100 people of you wrote one post per quarter. Yeah? So that's 400 posts that we can look back at in a year's time. So all you have to do, the trip report. If any of you are writing trip reports, why not public, have it published on an IWMW blog? So that could be the part of the community, the virtual aspect of this event. So again, we'll be having a, a bit of a discussion about maybe a small, lightweight editorial group to just take content and then quickly publish it. Th a thought. Show of hands. Who'd be willing to contribute? Okay, so that's about half of the audience. Um, take a photo of them, put it into the face recognition and a digital signature and the like. Yeah, no, that would be really, really good. And this is for your benefit, by the way. This is for the benefit of the community. It's not for me, it's for you, you for your benefit. Um, uh, but I'd like to say something about um, next year's event. It's official. There will be a next year. There'll also be an event next year. There might not be an event in three years' time, because Claire really scuppered this. There's not going to be a website. Can you imagine? I think we should all come here in three years' time. We don't have any websites, but we're just going to find something to talk about. It'll all be based in the pubs. So I'll need to give some thinking to the longer-term aspects of this event. But there will definitely be one. So if I can ask the two people from the University of Poppleton. Oh, damn, I gave it away. I gave it away. If you can just come down and... Uh, get up the, the slides. I've never met these two guys before. I don't know where they're from. Um, well, Brian asked us to um, give a few clues as to where it might be next year, but any of you who have met me will probably know. <laughs> so um, here's some images that we put together to give a, a bit of a hint and uh, get you thinking about the location. <laughs> it looks nice. I'll give you a clue, but it's a bit disappointing. 
It's got a cathedral, but only one of them. <laughs> Any thoughts? Who don't know the answer? Who don't know these guys? Winchester. Winchester's got a cathedral. I could sing her if you want. <laughs> oh, what was that? Kent. Kent? Who said that? Uh, right, okay. <laughs> okay, Kent. Do you want well then, um, yes. Uh, Are we allowed to show that? <laughs> <laughs> For the next two years, that's appropriate, at least. At least two years. So, yeah, we, we're very proud of our tagline, especially today. So, yeah, we, we're pleased that Kent will be holding the uh, next IWMW. Um, what will be special, so we, the UK's European University, we close to continental Europe with a large percentage of staff and students who are from Europe. Uh, we have centres in pa Paris, Brussels, Athens and Rome. And uh, Canterbury campus is our main campus. It's a really beautiful 300 uh, acres of parkland. Uh, Canterbury itself is a beautiful historic city with lots of world heritage sites. So uh, we'd be, be Really, really privileged to have you all come to IWMW there. Um, our, our, we were going through projects similar to all of you, so uh, digital strategy development, new website, new CMS, so we'll have a lot to share. And, yeah, yeah um, so as Jonathan said, it's a beautiful campus, um, a great place to be, there's lots to do, there's lots of countryside nearby, we're 20 minutes walk from the city centre with lots going on. So I think I think Brian would really welcome a show of hands and who, who thinks they might want to make that journey? <laughs> Fabulous. Um, would anyone like to say at this early stage whether you've, you've got a hot topic that you think I wish I'd said that this year, maybe by next year I feel like I can share. Yay! Three already. Oh, about five or six. And has anyone not never presented at a conference before? Any of the people with their hands up who've never spoken at this event before? Was that, was there two, three people? Those of you with their hands up, go and grab yourself a, a USB stick. And uh, read the, don't read this small print which says you're committed to running a, a workshop for at least 100 people. But grab one at the end, that's great. So, uh, have we got the dates? Have we? Um, I don't know the more fan, but it will be... 11th to the 13th of July. 11th uh, to 13th of July. Okay, so that's a, a Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. We still need to f uh, finalise the paperwork and the like, but that is our plan. So that's really good, isn't it? So, Yay. thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> And because we're a, a year ahead of ourselves, that's really, really great. Um, so there's a lot of time to do some planning. Um, so there'll be th things that um, uh, I'll need to reflect on from this event. And a lot of those things are the, the administration and the timetables. So what continually happens is it's late getting the uh, submissions in, which means it's time consuming. It gets late producing the, the programme. And I know something Duncan said to me last night was the programme needs to be finished early so that I can go away to my PVC and we can get approval to go to these things and we can see it's relevant. So we will be uh, making sure that the deadline for submissions is brought forward a lot. Similarly, the deadlines for booking. So. I think you know one person booked just just a few days ago, and that meant some of the administration was uh, it was difficult to uh, identify the amount of the size of the rooms and the venues and things. So we will be looking to have that booking and submissions brought forward a lot a lot earlier. Um, so please give some thoughts now we'll, we'll, um, to to your contributions. Um, so. Well, what's the time now? It's half past 12. So just finally, I've just some people I'd like to thank. I'd like to thank Mandy and her colleagues, Dominic, Alan, and other colleagues. It's been great, and I've come here, and I've not worried. I've just knew it's been in such good hands. So, so many thanks uh, to you all. The speakers, the workshop facilitators, the master class facilitators, thanks for everything. I know some of you were, were surprised when there was twice as many people arrived at your session as you expected. You know, that was one of the things about the, the last minute and some of the changes. But thanks to everybody. I should say, for those of you 
who will, you'll all be filling in your evaluation form. Your responses will be uh, uh, looked at by myself, some things I'll share with members of the advisor group and the planning group for next year's events. And what I tend to do is to uh, give the numerical rating to all of the speakers and facilitators together with some highlights of the things they liked about your talk and some of the areas of, of improvements. So if you did have a bad time, try and make a bit of a criticism sandwich uh, when you give your comments. They will be shared with, with others. Um, this year, I think we pretty much cracked it about the engagement with, with the sponsors. So last few years, it's been, oh yes, come along, have a table and give out, give out some stuff. And the feedback I got was that didn't really work. They wanted to actually, they had things to tell people and things to share. And it wasn't marketing. It was about, we could do this. The marketing probably might come a bit later on. Oh, I should say, by the way, your email addresses aren't divulged to, to sponsors. I've sent out some uh, messages on behalf of the sponsors and I'll send out some more messages um, uh, next week, but I'm not divulging your email addresses. But the sponsors have been great in providing the content and also the funding of the museum venue, the drinks, the drinks reception. There was some sponsored places for a number of people who couldn't get funding to come to the event, but were needed to make the events happen, the event um, administration. And finally, I should mention the event uh, of amplification. So Kirsty and Rich at Event Amplifier, which I think is the leading event amplifier for the UK high rate, the first, the first. <laughs> um, Kirsty does, has done a lot of work for the JISC community, um, and Kirsty and Rich are available for other, other type of works, I, I believe. So Kirsty, I, you've got um, uh, some prizes, I think, to share. Would you like to? Uh, several prizes. Several prizes, that's great. Um, can stand close to disconcerting standing close to Brian. Um, <laughs> so the first one um, is for people who were brave enough to come and stand in front of my video camera and tell me how wonderful they thought IWMW was. Um, I might have to bring sweets next year or something else, we need more incentive. But uh, the winner of that is uh, Rachel. Bad is she here? Yes, she is. Rachel, uh, yes. So yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Uh, what else did I have? I had the iconic IWMW16 image, according to social media. Um, we might want to get that up on the screen, but I think you probably all guessed the image that's been tweeted uh, the most that came from one of the presentations. If I get it up, can you remember which speaker it was from? Right, yeah. Oh. <coughs> uh, Top WTF, I was about to say it, wasn't I, in front of my mum. <laughs> Who, who's, whose talk was that? Ah, cool. Um, we had the most, active, the most active app user, which I think you have the list for. Oh, yes, I have the list for somewhere. Um, sorry, I <laughs> should have right. emailed it to you. Um, so... Uh, the, the Hoover app was the uh, official app and we had some discussions with the Hoover people and they said they were going to provide some statistics of the um, most active users on the app, the most connected, here they are, the most, and if, you'll, if you get out the, uh, the randomizer, and I'll just type in Liam Geo, how do you pronounce that, Irish? Liam G, Alberto Alberto is another one, uh, Richard Barrett-Small, Gareth Saunders, and myself. So we are the, actually, to hell with the randomizers. Uh, if I mentioned your name, grab a USB stick, but if you've already got one, you're only allowed one, and I'll pass it on to the people who, who aren't here. Um, and was that, was that it? Uh, no, there was one more, which I need to find, um, which was our caption competition on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> entries for this. Um, I'm going to go with the one that was liked the most, um, which actually was Marika's one, and I know she's gone, but she got lots of likes. Um, and her caption was, uh, that XXX University mentioned by Rob Van Tull really does have some good courses. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously okay. further entries will be... <laughs> okay, thank you. And on that note, with, with, with laughter... I'd just like to say, to bring this, uh, the event to a formal close, I will be 
staying in Liverpool. I'll be going back um, back home tomorrow morning, but I'll be hanging around. So any, if any of you needs to grab hold of me or chat about things or pick up some stuff, feel free to grab uh, hold of me. But now I would like to say goodbye and farewell. IWMW 2016, the 20th event is now over. Thank you.